centimeter category, we go to the minus 163 centimeter category. Once again, a division with a lot of competitors, once again from all over Europe. And we get to see, I think it's 13 competitors in this class. And this is up to 163 centimeters. We have competitors from Norway, from the Czech Republic, from Germany, from Switzerland, from the Netherlands, and as well at the end we will see here the competitor from Denmark. Welcome on stage from Norway, 270, Karina Skielo. From Norway, 280, Camilla Johannesen. From Czech Republic, 290, Monika Taksova. From Germany, 220, Sandra Dobruns. From Germany, 221, Svetlana Reibel. And now that was some stage Czech present Republic, there from, uh, from Svetlana Kreipel. A lot of these from girls Germany, with a lot of flair. Franziska Lohberger. From Switzerland, 224, Dalia de Vries. And this is sort of a from mini Czech pose Republic, where you can accentuate the part of your body Julia that you feel Arthier is your best. You can see a lot of the girls are turning their side, yeah. showing off, uh, showing off the thigh area and their side area, yeah. and, and trying to get, trying to show off their shape in that area. Yeah, and this is where the girls are giving their first impression to the judges. Yes. Okay, from the Netherlands, Joyce van Egmond. And here, Bettina Baku looks very conditioned. Yes, she does. Even you, even though she's standing in the dark here on stage. Yes. Is and this is again one of the things where you're standing on stage. There's a lot of girls next to you and it can be very difficult to, to get attention and keep attention. Yeah. And these girls, some of these girls naturally of course will blend into a crowd like this and it can be very hard to, to get out of that. Yeah. And that's why you have to, to move around a bit all the time but you don't want it to be too much either. As we can see here, especially when we get the wide shot here, we can see some of the girls are, uh, are especially moving. Uh, I think that is uh, number 220, Santa, uh, Sandra Dobruns. You are four from the left in the blue bikini, who is uh, moving a lot. Yeah, and especially in the big picture that I just saw, you can see why they're doing it. Because every time one girl is moving, your eyes are drawn to her. Exactly. If everybody else is standing still, the one girl moving will automatically get some attention. And in this category where there is so uh, many times so little to uh, to differentiate the women uh, in terms of uh, in terms of size, in terms of conditioning, in terms of shape, um, simply being remembered for something yeah uh, is is uh, is going to help you get uh, get a better placing. Yeah, and the possibility of two girls being equally good is big when you have. A, a big group like this, mm. where they are so close, and that could be what separates you from your contestant. Yes, it's the bigger smile. It's the it's the, it's that moment of eye contact uh, with the judges. It's those little things that you're that you're trying to do in order to to make people remember. Oh, I remember two nineteen yeah. or something like that. Yeah. And then again, that's also where the bikini uh, plays a part, and the hair, the makeup, and all that. Because it all, it's all about the overall appearance up there. Yes, very much so. And uh, while uh, the men yesterday, the bodybuilding category, the body fitness women spend, uh, while the men spend a lot of time in, in the tanning, trying to get the perfect tan to accentuate their muscles, uh, the women here, of course, spend a lot of time uh, backstage in, in hair and makeup. Yeah. And these bikinis as well, we talked about them yesterday, they're specially designed. Many of them are worn only once, maybe twice in competition. Um, 
and uh, and it's uh, it's def you can definitely see that these th these outfits are created to draw attention. Yeah. These are these are not uh, things that you'd get in your local swimwear shop. These are not bikinis that you'd uh, and and also as well, these are not bikinis that most women would feel comfortable wearing as a bikini. This is definitely something uh, a, 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 an outfit, a wardrobe that says, "Look at me." Yeah. Yeah. Which, of course, at Loaded Cup is the exact point of it. It is. And it takes a lot of confidence from, from these women to stand up there uh, and not only, uh, not only pose like this, uh, but to also have every part of, every part of their outfit, every part of their, uh, of, of their uh, stage presence, everything is, uh, is, is to say, look at me. Yeah. And often you'll see that some of the best girls also have have uh, the most outstanding bikinis because they have that eye for detail, not only mm. on their physique but also on what they're wearing. Because I know everything has to be per perfect. It's not just about the separation of the thighs and the abs, but it's a whole package. So they'll mm. put that extra time into not only their training but also in their makeup and the hair and fitting their bikinis. Exactly. You can see. Girls are wearing bracelets as well and earrings, and of course you want to match everything and uh, and want something that, that that stands out without looking. Of course, this is also the this is also the fine line in uh, in a category like this is that you want to be you want to show off, but you don't want to be vulgar. No, no, good point. And, and especially especially in the back poses, mm. it's important that. Uh, it's about showing off your whole backside, and not just about you know putting your your glutes back and showing off that. Mm. Once again, we see out to the left of Danish athlete Bettina Bach, very well defined, which uh, we have seen earlier in the first two categories in the women's bikini fitness uh, has uh, scored well. Yes, yeah, she looks good for this. You can see as we pan across the legs here that there is uh, really a difference. Uh, and then again, at the bikini, you can see just put that extra amount of detail in the bikini. You just see how it sparkles mm. a bit more than all the other bikinis on stage right now. Yes. And especially every time she's moving around, you can see how uh, the stone on the bikini sparkles against the light. Indeed. Now it'll be interesting to see where the judges go here in the bikini fitness minus 163 centimeter category. Two one eight Camilla Johannesen. Two twenty two Daniela Hallas. Two two seven Laura Aufenberg. And 229, as expected, Bettina Bach. So once again, we're seeing the judges going for a very well-defined look These in the bikini are division. Very well-defined women um, out there on your left. 218, Camilla Johannesson from Norway. Besides her, uh, Daniela Hallas from the Czech Republic. And then Laura Offenberg from Germany in the green bikini. Oh. And all the way to your right, Bettina Bach from Denmark. That is your top four at the moment. And it's nice, it's nice to see this line from the judges because there have been a lot of talking in the bikini division about how big and how defined do we want these women to be. Mm -hmm. Do we want them to look like normal bikini girls on the beach or do we want them to show a bit more than that? And personally, I'd say this is a bodybuilding and fitness competition. Yes. You have to have that fitness aspect in there. And these girls really have that. You can see that muscle tone. You can see these girls have been wo working out a lot and... This is not uh, Sports Illustrated's uh, swimsuit magazine. No, exactly, exactly. This is, this is the loaded cup. Yeah, this is not bikini, this is bikini fitness. Exactly. So this was your top four, and now it'll be interesting to see who is battling for these final two places in the final.
two zero Sandra Dobruns. Two two three Franziska Lohberger. Two two five Julia Akireva. And I did not get the last one. I think it might have been two two eight Joyce von Egmond. But these four girls, as we can see, are fighting for that final, the final two spots uh, in this final. And these are still very defined women. Yeah, in, they in, are. In yeah. good condition. Yeah, I say especially, especially our girl number two from uh, from the left is looking is looking good for final spot here. Yes, that is uh, Franziska Lohberger from Germany. Somewhat controversially, maybe, has decided when doing a back pose not to put her ponytail away. Yeah. Joyce van Egmond from Holland, who was our fourth, as we say, second heater here. And this means that these are the women who, if we follow the logic of the bodybuilding scene, are the lowest, uh, yeah. the, the quote-unquote weakest in this category. And we can see that these are probably the least defined of the women that we've seen so far. Yeah, it's very, very obvious here that they're going for a, a more defined look than these girls have brought to this competition. And these girls are fighting out for a top 10 spot right now. Yeah. Once again, you have to remember the hair. Yeah. There it goes. In a bikini that looks almost like tinfoil. Yeah, yeah. It is, of course, the danger of the silver bikini when it sparkles as much as it does. And this was compared to 221 Svetlana Kreipel that we see in the silver bikini here in the center. And next to her, 224 Dalia de Vries from Switzerland. 26, we can just see her out on the left is Sarka Maskova from the Czech Republic. These are your bikini fitness minus 163 centimeter girls. We will see six of these women in the finals later today. Finals begin at 2 o'clock this afternoon. And to those of you who might have just joined us because you have forgotten 